Hey, it's Meg from High Scores Arcade, and today we are taking a micro look at the 1983 side scrolling platformer Mappy by Namco. Now, this game was developed by Namco, but it was released for the US arcade market by Bally Midway. If you had one in your arcade growing up, you are not likely to have missed it. At a very notable 22 inch wide, 16 and a half inch high light box style marquee that sat on top of the cabinet, making it very visually striking in the arcade setting. Unfortunately, it still proved to be a much more popular game with the Japanese market versus us here in North America. In fact, in Japan, it gave rise to a couple of sequels, one of which you play as Mappy's son, and you cannot marry your intended betrothed until you play through the game and prove yourself as a good provider for her family. So if you feel you need some hints in that arena, that's called Mappy Kids. But what does excellent on a game of Mappy look like? The current Twin Galaxy score is reading 2.313 million. I'm here to just give you a couple of tips and tricks to get you past that default score on the machine. Again, the default score is the one that the manufacturer sets that says, you must be at least this good to get your three initials here on this board. In Mappy, it's 20,000. So let's go take a look to see how we can get you there. Okay, so jumping into a game of Mappy here. Mappy, the title itself, is a nod to the Japanese term Mappo, which is an apparent pejorative term for a beat cop. But in this game, you are the beat cop, and you've been dropped off at this mansion of the Miyauki Crime Syndicate, where they've been stashing stolen goods, and you have to retrieve the stolen goods. So in this scenario, you're not a cop from California. So you have to go through and uh, collect the stolen goods with very limited ways of outrunning or outdoing your enemies here. You essentially have a set of doors to work with. So opening up a wooden closet door will nudge them back behind uh, you a little ways using one of those supersonic rainbow doors like I just have will blow the pussy right off the board if it's in front of you. Now. You'll notice that I'm walking right by certain items. I'm trying to get them in successive pairs again because that will give me a points multiplier. And if you start with the lower valued items and work your way up, you can make that even more worth your while. So start with the radio, move up to the TV, the computer, of course the Mona Lisa, there's that rainbow door, and lastly the safe. So you can only jump on the trampolines up to five times without resetting it by touching ground here. It'll turn red when it's about to break and it'll let you know that you're coming up against that time. So I'm just gonna run up, grab this safe. And you see my multiplier is 500 times six there because I got them all in successive order. So the second level is a lot like the first in that my objective is the same to retrieve these stolen goods. But there are more doors and more um, mid-level trampolines that kind of act as barriers that I have to be aware of. So got a little trickier. Of course, my weapons and my ways of defending myself remain the same. I'm gonna blow them off there with the rainbow and get that second pair there. All right, still have a couple things to go. Now you're gonna see that big fat red cat. That's Goro, the crime boss. He is faster than the Meow Keys, but he's a little less aggressive. And uh, he can come in handy sometimes when he hides behind items. He'll hide behind items for about three seconds at a time. And if you grab the item at the time, you see him hiding behind it. It'll give you a thousand point bonus. It's telling me to hurry up here, so I'm gonna scoot through, do less talking. But the Meow Keys will kill you on contact, except for when you're mid-air. So you just wanna make sure nobody's coming at you from the other side of the platform. And now I'm over that default score of 20,000 at 20,230. Now this is a bonus level that comes up and my objective is to burst these 15 balloons for points. You'll see a Goro, which is again that cat boss. You'll see a Goro balloon come up towards the end there. That'll give me a hefty 2,000 point bonus. 
but you can only play until the music stops. So you really can't take too many jumps on any one trampoline. Can't just do it leisurely as uh, the movements kind of lend itself to because you got a boogie through the, through the board here. And that's how it's done. So you'll see what that brings me. Pretty serious bonuses here. Brought me from 25-20, huge bonus there, and ended up at 35-20. That's it for me today. Thank you for watching. If you are new to the High Scores Arcade team, we are arcade collectors and preservationists with over 160 games here in our collection in Northern California. You can play a portion of them at our publicly available arcade at 1414 Park Street in Alameda in San Francisco's East Bay. We collect, protect, and share back all of the best titles from the heyday of arcade gaming. If you'd like to be a part of this mission or just watch while we do it, please like, subscribe, share our content. And if you'd like to donate towards our efforts of preserving these games, we invite you to visit highscoresarcade.com slash donate where you can do just that. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.